Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Friday's story is an underground forum bust. Let's end Friday with good news, and that is authorities around the world, including the Department of Justice and the FBI, shut down a underground forum called Darkode. This was a well-known English underground forum that was kind of hard to get into. You had to pass some tests to be uh, accepted by these uh, criminal attackers. The authorities arrested 12 individuals uh, involved with Darkode, individuals that were running botnets, selling stolen data, creating mobile malware and exploit frameworks, and all kinds of things like that. Ultimately, this is great news for security as a lot of cyber criminals have been put in jail and some of their malware is going to be off the street. Now, one little interesting tidbit, one of the folks arrested, a guy named Morgan Colbertson, who actually created a, a Android attack kit that was called Dendroid and it allowed you to add malware to Android applications. Well, anyways, Colbertson actually worked as an intern for 12 months at a security company called FireEye. He was actually there Android malware researcher. So it's really kind of interesting to see this so-called security person actually part of a criminal underground and selling his exploit kit for over, I believe it was $300 for his exploit kit, or he was asking $65,000 for the source code for this Android exploit kit. So it's probably a big shock to FireEye. Now I don't think this is typical for security companies, but one takeaway here is as you're hiring employees, uh, it's very good to make sure to vet them. In any case, I just wanted to end the week on good news. There's no huge practical takeaways here. It's just great that one of the well-known cybercrime forums out there has been taken down. By the way, quick show note, because of all my travel this week, I decided to skip the weekly video, but instead, sometime next week, I'll probably put up a post showing all the stories from the week. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.